Okay, so here we have Windows 10, and uh, <clears throat> let's take a look down here. This is our startup menu, and uh, let's get rid of that. We'll click on here to try to open up Cortana, and we're getting this critical error. Your start menu isn't working. We'll try to fix the problem next time you sign in. Okay. And I tried signing out several times, and it doesn't seem to fix this issue. Okay, so the Microsoft Window website suggested uh, booting in the safe boot mode and then booting back out of it. They said that that might fix this problem. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I can still right click on this thing and I'll do uh, uh, restart and I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard down here. Here's the shift key. I like that up there. Let's see if we can boot in the safe mode. Okay, so we want to go into uh, Troubleshoot and Advanced Options and uh, Startup Settings, which is over here. And uh, let's see, we want to go into Safe Mode, Restart. Okay. Now we've rebooted in the safe mode, and uh, we want to do number five, enable safe mode with networks. So I hit number five on the keyboard. Okay, so here we are in safe mode, and uh, we're going to try to set it back into normal mode now. Okay, so let's click on this thing again. And uh, we'll just try restarting it. I just have to restart down here. See if we can restart and get out of safe mode. Okay, so we rebooted. It looks like we're no longer in safe mode. Let's take a look down here at our Windows thing. See if that fixed Cartana. Uh, nope, it did not. Okay, so it looks like our first fix didn't work. Supposedly that uh, doing uh, going in the safe mode and coming back out works for a lot of people, but it didn't work for me. I'm still getting this uh, critical error message and Kratana is still not working and um, so okay so uh, okay so with a little bit of searching around what if I right click on this now we go up to here it says Windows PowerShell as administrator okay so let's try that okay Windows PowerShell Yes, we'll say yes. And so we'll copy these uh, lines of code over here from this uh, web page, Geek Dashboard. Try this one out. So I highlighted these, copy, and we will go over to our PowerShell being run as administrator. And let me try to paste those in there. Control V. No. Control C. Okay. So it pasted all that stuff into there. I hit return. And I don't know what it's doing. It's doing all sorts of stuff. And it looks like it finished. Okay. So, let's 
take a look down here. And we'll click on that guy. And it looks like it is still not working. Maybe we got to reboot. Okay, let's try that. Actually, right after I did that, it's asking me to do a Windows update, and that was one of the things that one of the websites suggested was uh, if you do the updates, it might fix the problem. And uh, I'm not sure if this stuff I just copied prompted that or if it. Windows likes to prompt you anyway. Uh, let's see, restart to the newest Windows feature. Let's just try it. We got don't got too much to lose, huh? We'll try restarting it. Except for we're not gonna know which, which fix helped it. Okay. Okay, here's my favorite part about Windows. Never ending updates. So hopefully this will fix our problem. We will see. Okay, the Windows update and uh, the other stuff that I did, uh, the PowerShell command line stuff just finished. And uh, let's take a look here. Okay, wow, looks like Cortana is working again. So one of those last two things obviously fixed it. Maybe it was the updates, maybe it was the PowerShell things. Uh, anyway, it looks like we're back up and running. Cortana's running again. And uh, Okay, so it looks like the uh, doing the Windows updates is possibly what fixed our problem. Last time I kind of triggered it to do it by accident. And um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go through how we could uh, force the windows to update. Now, if you uh right or here, if you right click on this guy, Cortana comes up, but Cortana's not working when uh, our computer's broken, but if you uh I'm sorry, that's left click. Right click on it. This menu was coming up when Cortana Cortana was uh, not working. And uh we can go to settings here. Here's settings. And uh if we click on settings will bring up this window here and there's all sorts of let's zoom back a little bit I gotta move the camera back so here's our window here with all sorts of settings we can choose from and um, so if we go down to this bottom setting with the circles here it has uh, updates and security and so if we click on that it will again bring up another window with lots of junk on it and here's a little box here that says check for updates and probably if we click on that it will start checking for updates okay so that's how you could possibly force uh, windows to uh, okay so check for the updates and uh, uh, cumulative updates for net frame blah 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 okay downloading zero percent okay let's check what advanced options are okay update options so here's your advanced options and uh, give me updates from Microsoft when the products updates uh, so you can turn off, turn on, and turn off these uh, when it's going to be updated. Choose when updates are installed. Okay. So anyway, forcing the computer to do updates may fix your problem here. I suspect also um, I was running a Kaspersky uh, virus protection program and. Uh, the internet said that uh, sometimes the virus protection program will interfere with the normal operation of Windows and could cause these types of problems. So I took my virus protection program off temporarily to uh, try to fix this problem. So that might have been part of the issue too. Anyway, it looks like uh, forcing it into this mode here did did uh, 
force it to start doing updates because this uh, the second one's up to 44 percent and it's still going up and um, <coughs> so anyway if you have a problem with Cortana not starting maybe forcing it to do updates might help uh, anyway it's it's uploading the, the uh, doing this process definitely started uh, doing some, some update loading and uh, anyway this is uh, Dr. Janes and thanks for watching